Hi, I'm Seem and we're here in Chennai, India at the amazing Leila Palace. This week I had my retreat together with a local longevity clinic called Ivo. It's been an amazing experience because Ivo offers a whole host of many different kinds of longevity tests you can do. We got 183 biomarkers measured, we got a full body MRI, echocardiogram, VO2 max test, uh, DEXA scan. In this video I'm going to walk you through some of the results I got from these tests and share my experience. I'm actually a long-term partner with Ivo and I'll be coming back to India for these retreats many times in the future. So you can check out the link in the description to know when you can join us next. Day one we took it a bit easier, we had a pretty long flight for nine hours and we just wanted to adjust to the new time zone before doing any tests. We met the team, got to look around the hotel and just you know got accustomed to the new place. But I did get a nice uh, physiotherapy session and a posture analysis done with a uh, AI based uh, posture analysis. I found that I was slightly leaning towards my left side. My head was also leaning a bit forward, which based on the calculations made my head weigh 12.8 kilograms, whereas normally for my body size, it should be six kilograms. Now that's quite astonishing, surprising as well, and it's definitely not good for your long-term health to have your head tilted forward and putting you know, much more pressure or, or more weight to the head. My right lat muscle was also supposedly much bigger and stronger than my left side, which makes sense because I'm right-handed, I'm you know, right-hand dominant, and I have also noticed that you know, when I'm lifting weights, then my right side tends to be a bit stronger. And as a result of that, for compensation, you know, when my right side is pulling in a little bit, my left side had uh, leaned a bit forward. So that's what caused like an imbalance in my posture and uh, also resulted in my left side leaning forward and a little bit tilted with the head forward as well. So I did the scan first, then I got 20 minutes of physiotherapy, specifically myofascial release technique, which then helped me to pretty much open up the stiffness that caused some of the misalignments. And as a result of that, my left side corrected significantly, my head also tilted back more normal where it should be, and it relieved about 28% of the tension or improvements. I saw 28% improvements in my posture with just uh, 20 minutes of this uh, physiotherapy. Day two, me and my wife got blood work done in the morning and uh, we looked at 183 different biomarkers, starting with some of the more basic ones like cholesterol, glucose, hemoglobin A1c, lipoproteins, etc. but some more advanced biomarkers as well. The results came back great. You get like a pretty much like a folder with all the results from the blood work. I had everything in the healthy ranges, including lipoproteins like ApoB, which are the main atherogenic particles that drive atherosclerosis. The only thing that was slightly elevated was a homocysteine, which uh, is also a risk factor for heart disease. My levels weren't super high, they were 16 micromoles per liter, whereas the reference range is 0 to 15, and uh, I had only like one micromole above the reference range. Some of the doctors thought it could have also been caused by some sort of a recent infection that uh, could raise uh, homocysteine levels, including some of the other immune cells. After the blood tests, I took a DEXA scan for body composition and bone density. My muscle mass was well above average, and my bone density in my spine and femur were at the highest level. Then I took a VO2 max test to assess my cardiorespiratory fitness. It's a fitness test where you progressively increase the speed of running on a treadmill. A higher VO2 max has been consistently shown to be associated with reduced all-cause mortality. My score for the VO2 max was quite astonishing. It was 66 milliliters per kilogram per minute, which is in the elite category even for 18-year-olds. So my VO2 max is very good compared to my age of 29, and even so it's still excellent and in the elite category of 18-year-olds. Now I was quite surprised that I got this high number because four months ago I did my first VO2 max test. I got a result of 53 milliliters per kilogram per minute which you know is still above average and like it's not near elite levels but it's certainly above average but uh, over the course of this four months I've increased it by 13 milliliters per kilogram per minute which is uh, a lot. The reason why I got such a like a dramatic change from 53 to 66 milliliters per kilogram per minute 
has to do with the fact that I wasn't doing a lot of cardio when I, you know, started the first year to max test. So my body was very sensitive to the new adaptation. So I saw very fast improvements in my VO2 max because I started to do a lot more cardio and train my VO2 max specifically. And, you know, over the, over the last four months, it has increased 13 points, which is uh, quite amazing. I also measured my resting metabolic rate by breathing through a tube for 10 minutes. Based on the test, my resting metabolic rate which is the amount of calories my body requires to stay alive at rest, is 3,300 calories, which is quite high. So my metabolism is quite high and very fast. Instead of looking at my calorie intake, I'm much more concerned about my body composition, my fitness status, and like your body fat percentages. I think those are more relevant when it comes to the calorie intake. Days three to five, I took different kinds of tests to see whether or not there's something wrong with my body, not detectable by blood work. I got a full body MRI, ultrasound, echocardiogram, and some other tests. Fortunately, they all came back normal as well. No abnormalities or malignancies were detected by the MRI, which itself was an interesting experience. But you know, the best thing about the IVA clinic is that they can do these things here all at once at an affordable price and uh, very conveniently together with uh, medical professionals who help you to interpret those uh, results. So this is the, you know, the main perk of uh, the IWO is that they do it here all together in this amazing five-star hotel and it's uh, very cheap compared to doing it like in America or uh, Europe, for example. After that, I also got a face skin analysis that looks at the aging of your skin and what are some of your weaknesses. My skin was generally fine, but it was a bit dry and sensitive. I've never used like moisturizers for my skin, but based on my skin type, I probably should because it's going to help to keep the skin a bit more moisturized and hydrated. I did get a hydrofacial skin treatment as well, which just cleans the skin from dirt and black spots and improves the skin hydration. At the final night, I got a sleep apnea test to analyze my breathing. Sleep apnea can be quite dangerous to your long-term health because you're literally suffocating in your sleep. My results came back normal and I don't have sleep apnea. Usually the biggest risk factor for sleep apnea is being overweight and obese. Now I'm not overweight, but I do have like a thicker neck because of doing strength training. So uh, people who are exercising a lot and they have a bigger neck, then they, they could just also have sleep apnea without knowing it. Uh, even if they're normal weight. So these were some of the treatments I got during the seven days that I've been here. I didn't get all the possible tests. You could get actually a lot more tests. The best thing about this retreat is that you get a complete systematic overview of your current health and where are your risk factors. So the retreat program is significantly cheaper than if you were to get all of these tests done in Europe or America. But the quality and the accuracy is the same. You have 130 medical professionals helping you and guiding you through the tests. And you also get to stay at the five-star Lela Palace with amazing service and uh, amazing food. So if you want to join me on the next retreat, then make sure you check out the link in the description. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.